Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun Moon Rising and Venus. Keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading will resonate with everyone. So take your fit and leave the rest out. Okay, we have emotions are running high, super moon with the answers you need are coming. So there's been a lot of miscommunication going on in this situation. And it looks like things are about to be addressed, come to the forefront, okay? You're about to see some revealing things happen here. Runner, I don't want to run anymore in mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs, yeah. Someone's been running away here from communication as well as their emotions. There's some regrets in the situation, how someone's handled something. Overall energy, Three of Swords, okay, this is about heartbreak here, uh, pain, suffering, as well as miscommunication. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So this is a pivotal week for you. You start to realize there are some things that you just need to let go of. Uh, and some confusing things, right, that you've been trying to keep at it and really do your due diligence towards. So you're making some smart decisions this week when it comes to job, finances, or family life here. Um, especially for some of you that are moving location or uh, planning to move, you know, trust your gut instinct here and your intuition because you're making the right decisions, okay? I do see in regards to your person, uh, you feel like they've kept something from you or concealed the truth here on why uh, they were treating you or acting a certain way. And the only thing to do is kind of move on and move forward, okay, to a better positive uh, time. So we have the Tower, the Emperor, and the Devil card for the energy your person's in. They're feeling uh, this sense of attachment here, but it is so intense. They're feeling this urge to uh, want to regain some kind of uh, clarity here, but to reclaim this relationship. But tell the tower, death, six of cups. There are some memories that are haunting this person, haunting them so severely. They can't sleep at night as well. Uh, they're feeling this... Uh, longing for you. There's been separation here for a while. Uh, they've not been able to uh, get through their normal daily tasks. It is overwhelming to them. They feel burdened here. Tell this devil. Knight of Swords. They feel this intense uh, emotion of, I need to go make things right. I need to fix something. I need to clear the air. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, I see you might have worked with this person or um, might have lived with them for a select few, but I do see uh, if you haven't, the foundation's the same. This person was holding back from giving stability into this connection, so it means they weren't committing uh, wholeheartedly. And uh, I see them really controlling the narrative, manipulating the situation at times when it came to communicating. Uh, they wouldn't really give up themselves or anything that they felt they would lose control. So it was really difficult to even engage with this person at times because they seemed so closed off and they seemed like they were hiding something and always trying to keep you at bay. Uh, tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Uh, definitely not opening up emotionally here and not letting you know how deeply attached they were, especially knowing how much in love they are. Tell me the Six of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Yeah, it's like they didn't want to create some stability here because there was a fear of it getting ripped away from them. They feel as if there is something they're committed to, okay, in their environment that they can't break away from. The option is there, they can, but it's their own fears in their situation were stopping them from actually stepping up and making a difficult choice. Okay, so let's see what's happened here in uh, the challenge. And I see if this person would have just opened up, uh, expressed to you how much they cared about you or what was going on in their head. 
uh, there would be a deeper bond here. You would feel very connected to them. Uh, King of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So for the challenge, yeah, they needed to speak their truth, okay? Be very upfront, honest, and uh, actually, you know, the King of Swords at times can be em empathetic towards someone else's feelings because they want to fight for what's right, okay, and be very honest and open. So with the Three of Pentacles here, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody that neglected you in this connection, but neglected to make it uh, very stable so you could feel this type of bond with them. Instead, they would put a wall up here, and they were biding time in the Knight of Pentacles, kind of pushing things off, avoiding things here as well. And uh, when they would communicate with you, there was this coldness or detachment here that you couldn't put your finger on because you knew when you got into this situation with them uh, that you both were on the same page here. It seemed like you both wanted the same things in life and in a future, especially on the same page financially. Uh, you had goals in mind, even though you were at different points in your life. Uh, but I do see that uh, slow and steady was winning the race, but at times the Knight of Pentacles seems like it's not even moving. And it felt very stuck being in this connection because you had no clarity, you had no uh, reasoning for why they were behaving that way. Okay, tell me the Knight of Pentacles, as well as them not telling you how deeply they care about you. Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, yeah. They ended up missing the boat here. They missed an opportunity for this to become something serious or long term. Okay, it would have been up at this point uh, a very stable relationship headed towards commitment. But instead, you know, they decided to choke the energy and create their own version of what they wanted to see at this time because of fears of not wanting to make drastic changes in their environment or making decisions, okay? I also see for some of them, uh, there's a fear of committing emotionally or a fear of commitment in a relationship uh, for some that uh, is a deep-seated fear. They feel like they lose control of their life. It will end in heartbreak here. So they try to cause a lot of confusion and it, and it is just a lot of miscommunication in this situation because if they were being honest, you would have seen this person in a different light. You see that you could make a choice uh, whether to stay or leave, but it's almost like that option was ripped away from you here, uh, that you didn't really have a voice, so you couldn't tell, you know, well, what am I doing? What's going on here? They're not even giving me anything to go on. Okay, so let's see what action they take uh, in this week. And I do see in the current moment, it's hit them, right? The, the intensity of knowing and carrying this guilt of what they've done, not really uh, treating you the way that you should and being open and honest is starting to really overwhelm them. So they feel like they need to make things right. Okay, fight for this. Judgment, Hierophant, and the King of Cups. Uh, this is making the impossible become possible. And we have somebody offer up something that will alter this connection forever. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time.